On today's episode, we're going to cut concrete with a circular saw. Now this is just an ordinary sidewinder style circular saw. If you have a, a worm drive saw, that's really going to be a better option for this because you've kind of got a little bit more isolation between the motor and, um, in my case, the water that will be touching the floor. But we'll make sure to take lots of safety precautions just to try to, you know, make sure nobody gets shocked here. Um, the first safety precaution we're going to do is we're going to make sure we plug the saw into a GFI outlet. So I'm running this to my kitchen where I've got a GFI that if something were to short out because of the water, it'll pop and stop um, rather than uh, shock you, you know. The, the other thing I'm going to do is they recommend you wear gloves. Of course, you never want to wear anything loose with a saw like this, but I will be wearing some rubber gloves just to provide an extra layer of isolation. Um, I'm going to, of course, wear hearing protection because it's going to get really loud. And I'm going to wear an actual pretty nice respirator because you really don't want to be breathing in concrete dust at all. Uh, I will, this, this blade I'm using is a Bosch. It's a DB741C and it's a segmented style blade and you can use these blades wet or dry. Wet, it's obviously going obviously to last a lot longer. Um, dry is going to create a lot more dust. So it's kind of your choice as to what you want to do there. Um, but to keep it wet, what I'm going to do is I've got a hose here and I'm just going to trickle water. The more, normally you'd say the more water the better, but because I'm using a sidewinder style saw, I'm probably going to go a little bit lighter on the water than you would if you have a saw that's more um, recommended for wet type cuts. So one thing we're also going to do is I've set the depth to probably three quarters of an inch. You really shouldn't, they recommend cutting only the depth of each um, diamond tooth just to prolong the blade. So don't go ahead and just take a huge deep cut into the concrete. So I'll probably make, I don't know, four passes in order to cut through this. But we'll see how this blade performs here and give it a try. So that created a little bit more dust than I expected. I went ahead and I turned up the water here and that'll hopefully kind of keep it a little bit more wet so it doesn't make quite as much dust. So one little trick I've already learned is make sure you push the water in from kind of angle it at the back of the saw. If you try to push it towards from the front of the saw, the, the saw kind of blows the water away, which again just creates a tremendous amount of dust, which um, just kind of stinks to work with. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that again. So I would say this blade actually worked really good. 
Um, you could tell it was kind of pushing back. Uh, the amount of water that it took to keep this thing relatively dust free was a lot more than I thought. Um, I really had this thing flowing pretty good because otherwise it would just poof, dust everywhere. But it seemed to cut great. Um, there's really no, no change in performance from the beginning to the end here. So I would bet you could really make quite a few cuts with a saw or with a, um, a diamond type blade like this. Now everything I've used in this video, I'll make sure to put a link so that you can uh, buy if you want, like a respirator. Um, if you don't have a GFI nearby, you could buy an inline GFI for your, for your extension cords and stuff like that. But hopefully this will help you if you want to do something like this, um, break a spot out on your floor without breaking more than you really need to. It's kind of a nice little tool to have in your bag. Uh, thanks for watching.